Hello again, everyone. I have two separate packages from two separate orders that I made with Speckled Fawns, and I wanted to do a little unboxing of both of these. I actually got them on the same day, even though I ordered them at pretty drastically different times. Um, if you don't know about Speckled Fawns, I'll put a link to their shop below, uh, but they have a variety of different traveler's notebooks that are available on different time frames. Um, and I think it really just depends on, you know, when they have stuff finished in the shop. Sometimes it's already ready made. Sometimes it has to be made at the point that you order it. So I'll put a list uh, or a link to the shop below and then you can uh, look at the different categories that they have. So uh, these packages ended up pretty being pretty dirty. I cut off the top, but then I also realized I could have pulled this here, but either way, it's fine. All right, so let me get these out. This one is a small one. And then this one is a slightly larger one. Um, so the last time I checked, oh, there goes everything on the floor. The last time I checked, this little small guy is not available currently, this, this design. But, but occasionally they do have sort of special um, listings that do come up for things like this. Uh, the last time I checked the website, this model is available. Um, oh no, 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 this, this, this is a, okay, I'll, I'll let you know. This, I actually have another thing on order too, <laughs> but this is not what I thought it was. So <laughs> let me, I can see through the package and, and figured out what it was. Anyway, let's keep going. And I realize I have a really nasty bruise here. So, um, I go to acupuncture regularly and I think they just hit a spot <laughs> that, um, made me bruise there the last time I went. It kind of hurt when they put it in, which is not usual. So that's what that is. Don't worry. I'm fine. This is just a bruise from acupuncture. All right. So let's open the small one first. And I'm going to save this washi tape, as I always do, to put in my planner. And oh, so noisy. <laughs> for those of you that like crinkling, that, this video is for you. Okay, so this is a micro size. And this was sort of already ready-made with these three le leathers. Uh, there's their uh, red Kodiak, which I think is crimson tied, maybe. And then um, there's a mustard Kodiak, which, which might be this one. And then there's also uh, Tuscany. I think that's the three leathers that are here, but it's a really beautiful combo. So you can actually get Traveler's Notebooks made sort of like this when they have their, uh, what they call Happy Bee offerings. And you can, you can pick three different leathers to layer. So this might be a combination to keep in mind for the future when that offering becomes available if you like the look of this. Um, this also came ready-made with this little leather strap, which is made with the um, Crimson Tide leather. I just thought that would be kind of fun. And then inside here, there is just one pocket here, and then a pocket here, and a pocket here. So basically the micro is a little bit smaller than the passport size. I actually wonder whether I could fit passport size inserts in here because they are pretty generous with their sizing at Speckled Fonds. So um, this, I haven't tried it. So, so don't, don't take me, <laughs> don't take that as gospel, but I think that you probably just, just given me looking at this now, you might be able to put passport size things in here, but you certainly can put micro size inserts and those gen generally tend to be available on uh, a variety of Etsy shops where you can get micro size because I think this is specifically micro, which is a little bigger than uh, Chic Sparrow's. Ooh, what is their smallest size? I'm, I'm blanking now on what their, their super smallest size is called, but this is more generously sized than that. So it is super pretty. Um, kind of the deal with a lot of these is that they are called sort of like funky so so they may have some off cuts that are used to make these um like i suspect that this was sort of an off cut here uh, and then there's this wide back pocket here that goes from one side to the other so you could put stuff in the back and in the front and then this is also a pocket so and it's not too heavy at least not in this size 
So I'll just go ahead and wrap that back up. But I just thought this was really cute and I know I'll be able to find a use for this at some point. So super pretty, love the leather combination. All right, oh, and looks like a little bit of that red leather is coming off everywhere. And so, so this is not what I thought it was. I think, I thought that one had shipped as well, but perhaps it didn't. I'll have to look at my orders. So I'm just gonna save my washi tape again. Sorry, it's gonna be crinkly. Trying to get that <laughs> out of the way as quickly as possible. So this actually, oh, I love this. Um, so this actually is a happy bee that where I chose the leathers that would be included here. So um, try to remember, there was no invoice in here, so it's, it's kind of hard for me to remember. Little leather bits probably come off this, this uh, wrap here. So I did ask to have this wrap um, included as opposed to just a regular uh, elastic. So that is always an option for them. You can always get the leather wrap instead and they usually have a few different leather choices. So this is the Dublin leather as the base. And then I, I think, ooh, I think this is Stonehenge, which is sort of a gray leather. And then this, it, it's a Kodiak leather. And then I think that this is the brown Kodiak either that or mustard. So I think, so, hmm. Anyway, it's hard to tell because different batches also have different coloring. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure that one of these is mustard and one of these is Tuscany. So Tuscany is a little bit greener, which I think is this one. Um, so mustard, I mean, this, this looks a little darker than this one, which I, th I think is the brown, but anyway. You can, um, whenever that listing is available, the last time I checked it was available, but it's not always available. So the Happy Bee, you can pick three different leathers to layer. And this this is so pretty. There's a, a really interesting um, bit of leather here on the back. So you can pick three different leathers and then an option also is to have this stitching. So I chose brown, I'm pretty sure I chose brown stitching. I think that's brown stitching. Um, but you can get it in any, color a really common one is that people get yellow so that it's kind of like you know the trail of a bee um but i wanted something that was sort of coordinating and this is gorgeous this is a b6 slim size but i did get some extra width in the spine um i can't remember if i got a one and a half inch spine or a two inch spine one or the other because i did want a little bit of a wider uh, B6 Slim because they do cut their B6 Slims a little bit narrow uh, compared to other brands at uh, Speckled Fonts. So let's see. I'm going to unwrap this here. This is just so beautiful with this upright pocket here and I really kind of like how it folds there. I think the big thing about Speckled Fonts is the few sort of like funky looking leather. Not funky in a bad way but just um, sort of unique <laughs> look so this has the little clip marks here and then there's a little bit of a fold here i i love that because especially here like because there's that fold i actually could put more in the front pocket because it's not flat to the leather so i really like that um this is also a pocket um but it, it's a little it's a little short here you could also put things in the back i love this i, I really love this combo and I don't remember which leather wrap I got. Maybe it was the brown Kodiak, but I don't I don't remember. And then on the inside, oh, that's cool. So there's like a little split piece of leather here too. And the other thing is you can always indicate your preferences when you order. So you could say, you know, I don't like things like this. Um, I don't, I don't like, I want it to be smooth or something like that without a lot of irregularities. But, um, and also if you've ordered from them uh, quite often, I mean, I've, throughout the years I've, I've ordered from them off and on. And I think they kind of learn the customer's preferences too. I never put notes on my orders with speckled fonts, but a lot of people do, because a lot of people do like sort of unique leather markings and things. But I've definitely comment to her, commented to her before, you know, when I've gotten things that have a little bit of a interesting texture or something with the leather that I really like that. So um, 
she, she's really great about remembering people's preferences. So there are four elastics here, and but they are uh, just strung around the side here. So they're kind of in two little batches. And then there's a folio pocket here, there's a folio pocket here, and then there's kind of a card slot and then a larger card slot. I love this little, because these are, these are almost always natural to the leather. Um, and I think that's part of the reason too, why she can keep her prices fairly reasonable is because she's getting a lot of leathers that other makers may not gravitate towards because they're a little bit irregular, I guess you could say, but a lot of people like that. I like that, uh, to an extent. I mean, it, <laughs> I don't know, at a certain point it gets a little too irregular, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up again. But it's sort of like a little wrapped treasure, and it's so unique. No one is going to have another Traveler's Notebook that looks like this. Um, especially with the Happy Bees, that if, if you choose all your own leathers, you're going to have a unique to you Happy Bee. So if they don't currently have the Happy Bee offering uh, at their website, um, and you'd have to look through all of the different categories because I've forgotten where they list it. They have... Um, I think they have like ready to ship, they have traveler's notebook category. Uh, they're all traveler's notebooks. They also have bags. Um, and then they have sort of like a special category, which are limited editions and that sort of thing. So I'm not sure where the happy bee is usually listed, but if it's not listed, you can always ask them when they plan to list it again by emailing them or just wait. And I'm sure it'll be offered again at some point. Um, and the leather wrap is an option, so you have to select that as an option, and the stitching is also an option. Um, and then you pick the three leathers. So these are very similar <laughs> in sort of their style, but this was this doesn't have stitching, obviously. So I think this one's called like a, a tr triple wrap or, or something like that, but they often have special things like this available. So there are the two new speckled fawns. I love these, especially this one. I mean, this, because I chose the leather myself to be sort of neutral. Um, I've tried different combinations in the past and didn't, um, like they kind of clash. This is a great combination. I would definitely recommend this combination based on the, how it looks in person. Um, so, you know, you can also, there's a Speckled Fawns Facebook group. So, and there's a lot of pictures of different people's leather choices for happy bees. So you could always just search happy bee within that uh, group. I think you do need to request being added to that group if you're not already. Uh, and then you can kind of see the different choices people have made and uh, how they ended up. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I do have one remaining item that's set to be shipped at some point if it hasn't already. So I will probably do an unboxing of that item when it comes. Uh, and that was sort of a special edition, which is what I thought this was, but it's not. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.